Okay, so today I want to show you how to make a photogram. And um, again, I'm doing this with the lights on because um, you can't see anything with the lights off. Um, I have already made a test strip. Here it is. And um, what I figured out, and again, you probably can't see this as well as I can, but um, this is definitely more like photographic black. I got that by getting to about 20 seconds. It's probably hard to see with an enlarger height of 20 with the dimmest aperture. So I went ahead and came over to my enlarger and I made sure it was set to 20, which it is. And I have, of course, my empty negative carrier in the enlarger already. And I already preset my aperture to, to the dimmest setting. So I'm good to go on all those fronts. Um, I'm going to pretend for a second that the lights are off. And I've got a piece of 5x7 photo paper, which of course is um, uh, um, glossy side up and I'm gonna go ahead and start adding objects. Now this is the part, it's called a basic photogram and the idea behind this is that when you make a basic photogram um, you're just laying objects down on top and obviously if it's if it's translucent like this light's gonna shine through to a certain extent so you can get some really interesting effects whereas if it's opaque like this that's gonna give you um, obviously wherever it hits on the paper wherever this is it's gonna be white wherever it's not hitting it's gonna be black, black, black. So obviously this is going to give me black um, and I'm not quite sure what this shell is going to do because it is a little bit translucent. Um, something I do want to mention, what I don't want to do, and let me take all this off, what I don't want to do is just take an object and put it down and say okay I'm done. Because I want you to be thinking about 50% positive negative space. This is more like 5% positive or negative depending on how you look at it and 95% the other. So I want a 50-50, so I'm going to add things. I want it touching all four sides, so again, I'm not going to just conglomerate everything in the center and make it all even on each side. So what I'm not going to do is like this and say, okay, I'm done, because again, that's very symmetrical and it's not really touching all four sides. So I'll put this off to the side. I've got some asymmetry going. Maybe this is up here. Um, put this over here. Um, this is kind of an interesting shape. I think I'll overlap that a little bit. So I'm definitely touching all four sides. I can keep adding if I want to, maybe a little bit more. You know, so things, how things come off the side is what I'm trying to say. And remember, try to think about making it asymmetrical so it's not the same on both sides. Um, and because this is translucent, that might be kind of interesting, so I'll put that here. Another translucent object. What the heck, I'll just put that over here. So you might have a lot of stuff on your piece, but remember, it's not all going to show what you wanted to show. So I know that I need 20 seconds for this to work, so I'm going to set my timing clock to 20 seconds and go ahead and expose that right there for 20 seconds. And um, just to show you what that looks like, I'm walking over here all the way over, all the way over. I went ahead and made the image already. So of course you already know the developing bath times, at least I hope you do. And this was my basic photogram. You can see I've got photographic black, photographic white. Um, it's definitely asymmetrical um, and I believe if I calculated I definitely think I'm following the 50-50 rule. So that's how you make your first photogram.